Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create Karur Beam in Tecla Structures 2022 version with this PDF example. I will provide this PDF example in the description. Please download and practice along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures in Indian environment. Now I'm going to create views first. So click on grid and deactivate this option. Then right click on mouse. Create views along grid lines. Now click on create, then click on OK and OK. To open view list, you can use the shortcut Control I, or you can click on here window and select here view list. For example, we're going to take planet 3000 level, then click on this arrow to open plan view and close it. You can see at the top, currently we are in planet. 3000 level okay now let's open our pdf example in our example you can see now we have beam length 6000 overall in horizontal direction in vertical direction we have 2000 and the uh, beam profile we have ismb 400 you can see now we have these options information in example one you can see now i'm going to create curved beam with these values so let's open now I'm going to take now I'm going to measure this distance here first so click on edit and click on here measure and select this option horizontal distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and click on here you can see we have the spacing between these two grids 6000 so now I'm going to create midpoint so click on edit and scroll it down and click on here point and we need to take here at any position click on this option and zoom it you can see now we have midpoint here on this grid click on here to place the point right click almost interrupt you can see now we have midpoint now you can measure the spacing also select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and second point here and click on here you can see 3000 now we're going to move this midpoint 2000 upward direction you can see 2000 so drag and select this point now right click on mouse move special linear now we need to move in upward direction you can see in the coordinate green indicates the y direction you can see so we need to enter here in y direction 2000 now click on move and ok right click on mouse interrupt I'm going to measure this vertical distance also so click on your measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point and second point and click on here you can see now we have 2000 so now we have values so now I'm going to create curved beam so click on steel and click on this curved beam option and pick the first point here and pick the second point at here and pick the next point at here you can see now we have curved beam like this right click on mouse interrupt now to remove these dimensions checking dimensions click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see now we have curved beam click on window and select this 3d view like this now click on window and select this plane at 3000 you can see now we have curved beam but we have number of segments here like this you can see one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 10 segments. But we require a smooth curved beam. So double click on this beam to edit. You can see now we have beam property here. In our example, we have ISMB 400 profile. So we're going to change the profile first. So click on here, profile catalog. Now select this ISMB 400, then click on apply. OK. Now click on modify to see the result. You can see now this profile should be ismb 400 to verify you can close this property and double click on this beam once again you can see now here ismb 400 now coming to number of segments scroll it down in the number of segments option you can see under curved beam number of segments we have 10 so we have 10 parts in this beam but we record a smooth curved beam so we're going to change this number of segments the maximum number of segments you can enter 59 and click on modify you can see 
now get a smooth or curved beam like this. For example, if you enter more than 59, it will get automatically 59 again. For example, you can see, now I'm going to change the number of segments. You can see double click on this beam to open the beam property window and enter here number of segments. For example, you, you enter 80 number of segments, then click on modify. You can see automatically it will change to 59 is the maximum number of segments it will take in this beam property window. Okay, click on window and select this 3D view. You can see now here curve would be like this. Use a sh shortcut Control R and pick the rotation point and use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this. Okay, you can use the shortcut Control 4 for solid view for this beam. You can see you'll get like this. Control 2 for render view, shaded view, and Control 1 for wide frame. Use shortcut control 4 for render view like this, just like solid. Once you created this curved beam, after that, uh, for example, if you want to create a straight beam, then select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create straight beam. But you won't get straight beam because the property will take from curved beam, same as curved beam. But we need to change this profile, so double click on it. You can scroll it down and we need to enter here radius 0, then click on modify. You'll get straight beam like this. Okay, now again you can create straight beam. There's no issue with straight beam because it will take from previous uh, beam property window. So, like this. Now coming to the second example, we are going to create second example. In our sec second example, we have the information, total length 6000 and radius, we have 4000 radius and profile ISMB 300. In our first example, we have only dimensions, horizontal distance and uh, vertical distance and profile. In our second example, we have radius and total length. So I am going to create with this information so go to the tecla structures and you can create the curved beam by using this one and this one also for example we're going to create curved beam with this example beam so select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create normal beam then right click on mouse interrupt and double click on this beam to open steel beam property window now come here and enter the radius you can see under the curved beam option we need to enter the radius here in our example we have radius 4000 so enter here 4000 radius and number of segments we need to enter here 59 then click on modify you can see now I have curved beam with radius 4000 like this if you want to change the color of this beam then double click on it now let's take class 2 then click on modify to change it like this you can see you'll get curved beam like this go to window and select this 3d view you can see this is 4000 radius curved beam and this is the uh, curved beam with this information okay now coming to the plane you can see currently we have top view curved beam like this if you want to change the direction of it for example go to 3d view you can see if you want to see in the elevation like this in xz plane you can see xz plane then double click on this beam then scroll it down and you can see under the curved beam option we have plane and under plane click on here and select xz then click on modify to change the direction of curved beam like this You can change like this okay again if you want to change the uh, curved beam direction in xy plane then double click on it then click on here and select this xy plane then click on modify and close it you can see you'll get like this okay that's it about how to create curved beam in tecla structures in 2022 version with this pdf example
Okay, if you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tekla structure related videos, please subscribe my channel, then you escape YouTube channel. Okay, thank you.